YouTube. We are in a 2008, actually sorry, 2009 Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, had just finished replacing the steering rack. Um, the reason for replacing the steering rack was the original steering rack uh, developed some leaks and the owner elected to replace it with a AC Delco Reman steering rack and we noticed here that there's still just this little bit of play little bit of play um, that is not the steering rack and it's not the uh, intermediate shaft which is also a common issue on these but I have a feeling it's the um, for lack of better words a wobble joint in the steering column this is equipped with a tilt steering column so I will show you the process on how to inspect the uh, the wobble uh, coupler and um, tighten the coupler there's a couple of set screws on the coupler that um, can often be tightened just ever so slightly to eliminate some of this wiggle so the first step is to um, tilt the steering column down tilt the steering column down so that you can access the top of this steering column cover uh, the next thing is to make sure that these um, steering column covers are not screwed together um, as you can see here there's several holes here uh, I went ahead and looked with a flashlight there are no screws in this particular cover There's no rhyme or reason some of them are screwed together some of them are not most of them aren't but so we need to remove this upper cover and to do that I usually start in one corner and just pry gently and the upper cover will come off we'll set that aside right in the center of the frame here, covered in grease, there is the coupler. As you can see, the outer part of the coupler is a metal, has a metal housing, and the white part within that cup, that metal cup, is the wobble joint. Um, as you can see, as I turn more, you know, we take up the slack, but if I just, if I just, uh, turn the wheel in that little bit of play zone you can see that the play is between the metal cup and the plastic wobble joint um, hopefully that's a good visual for you you might have to turn the wheel so there it is it's a I believe it's a T25 we'll go verify here real quick well, T27 does not fit, so we'll call it a T25. That's the tightest fitting one that we have here. Anyway, idea is we want to put a little, you know, we just want to tighten it just ever so slightly and see if that uh, eliminates some of that play. If it does not eliminate that play, then we'll have to replace the wobble coupling. Okay, just to give you an idea, this is the angle the steering wheel is at to get to the first set screw, which is in a nice little spot where you can get to it with a um, socket style Torx bit and a 3 h drive ratchet. Um, so we just want to tighten it ever so slightly. You go too tight on these and it'll cause the coupler to bind. Alright, we got a little bit more play out of it. You probably can't see it on camera, but I can certainly feel that there's less. And I'm going to turn the wheel the opposite direction so that we can get to the other set screw, which should be coming into the frame right now. Um, you can start the vehicle and have the power steering assist if you can't get the wheel to turn all that easily. But anyway, same process. You just want to tighten it a little at a time evenly and we'll go from there what I did is I ended up starting the vehicle so that we'd have the power steering assist and I tighten each one incrementally just a little bit on that one and then a little bit on that one um, you don't want to go too tight because you will cause that wobble joint to uh, bind but I don't know if you can see
there's no more play in that coupler. So what we'll do here is, <clears throat> what we'll do here is put this upper steering column cover back on and uh, take the vehicle for a test drive and just make sure that everything feels good when you go left and right. There's no binding. Um, again, very important that you don't over tighten those. So basically just backwards of how you removed it. this with one hand. Um, what I like to do with these column shift models is I like to pull the whole rubber out, get it out of the way, and that allows you to get a better handle on getting this cover back together. I usually start with getting the front half situated first. Um, this area is the most difficult. Of course, it goes together on camera like easy, easily. So what I'll do here is I'll get my other hand, I'll push up on both halves here and get it to snap together. Okay, as you can see, I've got both column halves snapped together. Um, the seam all the way around, including this back corner right here, is uh, there is no noticeable gap anymore. The column cover snapped in tightly on both sides. So now we'll just get this shift boot situated back in here you see there's a groove here and that groove rides along this aperture right here as you can see here this is just rubber so you can finagle it into the hole and eventually you'll get everything lined up properly and there we go so we had a successful test drive the steering wheel no longer had any play in it. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and have a great day.